In this palatial waterfront estate, an epic love story is about to unfold. Welcome to Dilf Mansion, where we've brought together two groups of the internet's favourite gay archetypes. Himbos, muscular, kind-hearted, ready to party, and maybe a little chaotic. Daddies, distinguished, insightful, nurturing, maybe a little too set in their ways. But can a daddy and a himbo fall in love? We're about to find out on For the Love of Dilfs. I'm your host, Stormy Daniels, and I was brought here by Dr. Dilf, a mysterious gay relationship expert to help these singles find the man of their dreams. Which I know sounds kind of weird, but hey, the check cleared, and I love a good check, so here I am. Thanks for the introduction, Stormy, and may I say, you're looking particularly delectable today. Friends, I'm Dr. Dilf, and I'll be watching along with you all season to see how my little experiment is progressing. I built Dilf mansions to help these himbos and daddies change the way they view relationships and themselves. In this tropical paradise, anything can happen and love is around every corner. I've designed challenges to test their feelings and relationship skills, and in the end, one perfect specimen of a couple will rise to the top and claim $10,000 and true love. Are you ready to meet our himbos? Because here they come. What's up guys, my name's Tony Canoli and I'm from New Jersey and I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> I am 27 years old and I'm just looking for love in all the wrong places. So when I got out of the car and I saw this mansion, you guys, I mean, one, there's dilts inside, so I'm already like, yeah. But two, I always have that fantasy, you know, of like an older man, you know, and just like, I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of sexy and hot. Hi guys, Nate here. 22, from San Diego, currently living in Los Angeles. I have a passion uh, for talking and vocalizing my thoughts and communicating as much as I can. Fascinating stuff. And so I definitely put that into writing. Um, I started writing poetry, trying to pursue music and uh, writing songs. So I've already written like three songs. And so yeah, that's uh, what I got going on right now. Prolific. I'm Phoenix, I'm 27, I live in West Hollywood, California, originally from Seattle. I hate the rain, love the sun, hence the move. I'm a Pisces, if you couldn't tell. Um, I work at acting studio, actually down in California. So I help scout talent, and I also coach acting as well. Phoenix is perfecting his most challenging acting role yet, a blonde. What's poppin'? My name is Tokyo. I'm from West Hollywood, California. I'm 29 years old. I am a rapper, MC, the baddest bitch you ever met in your motherfucking life. Yeah. A bitch needs some warmth at night, and it's nothing but a nice, sexy, thick day to keep a bitch warm. Mm. Hey, my name is Mateo. I'm 23 years old from Mexico. I moved to America around three and a half years ago. I used to live in San Francisco and that's where I first started my college. I also play tennis, love to work out. I like the healthy lifestyle. I really, really, really like to go to the gym, go to the locker room and see all these hot guys and see what's up with their bodies. That's only mildly creepy. Welcome to Dilf Mansion, Hembos. Who is ready to meet their dream daddy? Oh, yeah. I'll take Let's two. Let's go. <laughs> I like your style. Stormy Daniels, like where am I? What planet is this? And she looks phenomenal, phenomenal. Couldn't agree more. 
Holy shit, she's fucking stunning, honestly. Like, when she walked out, I was like, ah, it's Stormy Daniels, ah! Like, it was fucking epic. So, as we all know, looks are not the most important thing in love. What is important is a big, throbbing heart. Yeah! <laughs> and that's why your first dates are going to be randomized. On the table before you, you will find a pair of undies and a personal item from each of the daddies. So take a look and see which items speak to you. And those will belong to the person you will have your very first one-on-one -on -one with. So who wants to sniff some manties? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! I know I do. Don't forget, I'm a PhD, pansexual himbo daddy. So Stormy tells us that we have to choose a box and that box is gonna pair us to a daddy? Oh, I love a jock strap. Yeah. I mean, I do like underwear, so. Okay. I like a mic. This basically means go. he speaks to the, the best. best. Can I try it on? Go internet. for it. Adam for Adam. <laughs> it's a perfect fit. Can I what smell them? Yeah. yeah. Are they washed? Absolutely not. I'm seeing a little of this, a little of that, you know. When I saw the jock strap, I just knew, like, that's my guy. Plus, like, there was a card in it. Oh, Every this one has box. a sense of humor, so I what like that. What is that? that? You're the best thing I found on the internet. This guy not only wears a jock strap, but he has a sense of humor. <laughs> Sign me up. With two. Who? I mean, Are you gonna hate like it? it? <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. Why? You don't. You don't think this one is cute? Are you guys gonna fight? I actually like this. Our one. first wrestling match. <laughs> as much as I would love to see a himbo slap fight, it's time for these men to meet their daddies. So who's ready to meet the man whose underwear you picked? Woo! Yeah! Like, bring them out, bring them out! Bring out the daddies. Here they come. Hi, my name is Gordon Osborne. I'm 37 from Edmonton, Canada. I run partnerships and marketing for a media startup up there. A bunch of other side projects in e-commerce. I assume e-commerce means selling foot pics online. I do lots of fitness, anything outdoors. I guess I just haven't really put much energy into dating yet. So being on the show, I think is really gonna help with that. Kind of bring me outside of my box. Um, and I'm just looking to create some something special with somebody. My name is Alex Tikas. I am born and raised in New York and a recent transplant to Fort Lauderdale. I am a full throttle, unabashed, unapologetic sex worker. I make my entire living fucking people. Himbo is such a, it sounds derogatory, but it's kind of not. It's just an unabashed shamelessness. This is who I am and I don't give a fuck what you think. And, and they're kind of hot. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bobby Knight. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. It's that filthy city on the East Coast. And I'm here to find love because there's nothing good going on back in Boston. I'm glad Bobby decided to wear his formal hoodie. I love bartending because you get to meet all kinds of new people. You get to drink for free, even though you're not supposed to. And cute boys tend to want to tip you more money if you kiss them. Hello, my name is Tony. I'm from Long Island. I live in Jersey now. My day job, I'm a banker. I also am an underwear model. Um, a real underwear model, not just on Instagram. My name is Jeffrey Mark. I am an actor, multi-hyphenate artist based out of New York City. Um, formerly an athlete, so I really love sports, being outside, traveling food and culture. I've done the apps. I've, I've done attempts at dating in the city. It's nearly impossible. And so I figured if anything, this might actually work out for me. Hey. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, 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 oh, yeah. yes, and yes. All right. <laughs> well, when I tell you, I could not believe my eyes. I mean, yes, yes, double yes, <laughs> exactly. What do you guys think of this selection? Yes. Fuck, yeah. I will take it. I like it. Whoa. I loved just the various types of himbos. I thought they were all beautiful. I'll just have all of them. No, greedy bitch. You right. greedy bitch. I want all of them. Find your undies, gentlemen. Let's go, Dad. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
awesome. Nice to meet you. When uh, I saw Tokyo was holding my underwear, I was extremely excited. I like taller men. Uh, you could tell he takes care of himself, and he's easy on the eyes too. Mateo is beautiful. He is absolutely stunning. His eyes, his lips. I love your tattoo. When I found out I was fair with Phoenix, my first sentiment was no bueno, no good. It's not a match. I was trying to be political, and I also like to give people a chance. So I'm like, okay, you know, even though he's not my physical type, it might be more to him. Yeah. Thank you. I love your evil eyes. It's sort of like a Beauty and the Beast thing. <laughs> I kind of feel like when I'm next to him, like this hairy orangutan, and he's just sort of like the counterpart to that. I see that Nathan is holding my underwear that he picked me, and I was like, this guy, so fucking cute. He was the one of the first guys that I made initial like eye contact with, and I was like, I vibe with this vibe, and let's see what he's throwing down. I can read your body language, and I know what's on your mind. I love this. I love that everybody's getting along already. Pembos, why don't you take your daddies upstairs for your very good, first one-on-one? -on -one. <laughs> <laughs> now that our himbos and daddies have linked up, they're going to spend some one-on-one -on -one time together to see if there's a spark. But first, here are some reality TV establishing shots of our multi-million dollar mansion. Nice bumbling mission. Right, finally. I know. He's got the neck tattoo, I've got the neck tattoo. So right away I was like, oh, you know, same level. If somebody's crazy enough to do is put something on their neck forever, you know. Right away, we know you both had turbulent childhoods. Uh, so I chose your briefs because uh, honestly, that's like kind of my style, just like really relaxed, like comfort fitting. And I was like, this is this is something I like. Right. So I was interested to see like the man behind the underwear. Mm -hmm. If Nathan was impressed by the relaxed briefs, I bet he loved the moth eaten hoodie. And I chose the microphone just because uh, I'm a creative type myself and I'm, I'm currently working on um, some side projects like uh, writing songs and uh, so I like um, someone who has something to say. On our date, Nathan tells me that he is a songwriter and I'm super excited about that because myself, I'm a singer, I host karaoke, I love creative people and somebody who can write songs. It's like, you know, it's poetry is what it is. And I think that that's just really cool that he has like that artistic outlet. So what made you want to come on the show? What are you looking for here on the show? I've had a um, fair share of like, Heartbreaks, I guess you would say. I'm young, but I've had a lot of them. So I was like, if I'm not doing any great, like, I need some help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why That's why I'm on here. That's the same thing I was saying. Yeah. I was like, you know, if nothing else has worked so far, maybe like being in this environment might like spark something to work better. Okay. So <laughs> you're interested in getting to know someone and, you know, yeah, moving in that direction? Getting to know someone, moving in that direction, something that's more solid, someone that's, that's like into the same kind of stuff as me, like, like a partner, you know? Yeah. I genuinely think he's a decent person so far, and uh, hopefully he just continues to show me that I'm right. You know, I'm nervous, but excited at the same time. That's good. That's I'm good. Tokyo, by the way. What's your name? Gordon. Gordon, yeah. nice to meet you. So I sit down with Gordon, I just can't wait to find out so much about Gordon. What do you do for work? Definitely creative, yeah. I do um, a lot of media production, lots of stuff in e-commerce. Love that. Yeah. I'm a creator as well. I do music, I'm a rapper. A rapper? Yeah, no I say way. that so like calm and cool, but my shit's crazy. Crazy. All right, spit something for me. Okay. I got that sloppy top here, but you already knew that. A whole lot of spit, no gag, bitch, I'ma do that. When I bend it over, pussy hanging, but you that cut splits on a dick, give a bitch cat. Oh, yes. When he started rapping, I mean, he was actually really good. You know, I, I think he's extremely talented and I could not do that. Um, so I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I did have a, another question. Yeah. Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? Mm. I think Cardi's funnier, so I'm gonna go with that. What? what? No! <laughs> I'm shocked Tokyo doesn't have the same taste in hip hop as a white Canadian in his late 30s. Hey, Nathan. 
Mateo, right? Mateo, Mateo. Jeffrey. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Mexico. Mexico. Mm -hmm. What about cool. you? Uh, originally from Boston. Uh, I live in New York now. I've been there for like the last 12 years or so. Oh, wow. Once I met him, I think he was super, super, super attractive. What do you do there for work? Uh, I am a actor, director, choreographer, uh, performing artist, mainly. I'm in college. Nice. I actually, yeah, I actually moved to America around three and a half years ago. Okay. And I'm finishing my economics degree. I play tennis. Okay, nice. I coach on the side. Wow. So I actually played for Mexico for a long time, and I got to number two in the nation. I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry. So, so you're you're not just a tennis player. You're a nationally ranked tennis player. Yeah. And <laughs> I, more than anything, I am a former athlete. I love athletes. I was manifesting. I was going to come here and I was going to find an athlete. And I saw everyone. I was like, ah, maybe not this time. And then to come and find out that through chance and serendipity, because it is a beautiful thing, that randomly I got paired up not only with an athlete, but a nationally ranked tennis player. We'll leave the athletes to play with their balls. Let's check out our beauty and our beast, Tony and Alex. Honestly, I feel a little overdressed. So I'm, not, I'm not on your level. <laughs> no, here. you're fine. You're okay. Oh, oh my god. Much better. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm out. I try. They say if you stare into Alex's back hair long enough, it'll tell you the exact date you're going to die. I am matched with Alex, and he is freaking gorgeous. Immediately, I just noticed like his eyes and his beard, and I said like I just felt lost. I was lost in his beard and his eyes. Why did you pick the jockstrap? Whoever said gay men are vapid and sex crazed are about to be. Proven somewhat correct. I used to wrestle, and so uh, it kind of like gave me like that whole fantasy, kind of that moment of like, ooh, the, the coach is hot. You oh, know? okay. So like it kind of like. So it's your coach fantasy. It's like a coach fantasy, <laughs> man. Yeah. Okay. I've been called coach many times. Well, then I'll be your star player. There's a gentleness to him and a curiosity to him, and he's he kind of looks like Captain America a little bit. <laughs> what? What? Are you an actor? What are you? I actually, I'm marketing for a wedding venue. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, okay. So and I teach dance to kids so on the you, side. What do you think about marriage? I love fairy tales. So I want that whole fairy tale wedding. Yeah. You know, like, I know growing up, I used to like read the fairy tale all the time. And you know, as a queer kid, you think, am I ever going to get happily ever after? Is that going to happen to me? I don't know. I guess this prince is looking for a king. <laughs> what about you? Wow. What do you do? Okay. That's a good question. Um, so I'm a sex worker. I have fan pages. I have platforms and I collaborate with other porn actors and we make movies and people click on them and that's how I make my living. When the curtain goes up, uh, I perform and when the curtain is down, I go home and all that matters is the person that is hopefully waiting there for me. This is, this is what I do. And I'm like, I'm, I'm too old to give a fuck about, you know, what people think. And I'm looking for a guy that isn't afraid. Basically, yeah. that's a very, very strong guy. We're, we're here for a couple of weeks. Yeah. I would love to sit down with you again. What do you think about um, hanging out again? Like going Honestly, out on a date or something? Honestly, I, I would really like that, Alex. Yeah? I would really like that. Are you, like... With everything that I said, you're totally cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it sounds like a fairy tale. I think we're both on the same page in regards to what we're looking for. And it's basically an honest connection. All right, so um, let's... Uh, all right, so... Yeah. <laughs> Good. Bye. Bye. We kissed, and it was bizarre because I, I felt like... It was like an accident kiss because it was like I wanted to like hug and then and all of a sudden our lips met and I was like, oh my God, we just kissed. Definitely connecting on a, on a level that I'm surprised about. He's a hopeless romantic just like me and you know, I don't know. Maybe there's something that wasn't there before. So excited to meet you, learn more about you. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Based on physicalities, I said, no, this is not gonna be a match. Very open-minded, Tony. I'm originally from Long Island. I live in Jersey now. Uh, how about you, where do you live? What I've been doing for the last six years or so that I've been single, hasn't been working. So I'm like, okay, you know, even though he's not my physical type, 
it might be more to him than meets the eye. Like a really big d I live in West Hollywood. I've lived there about six years. What do you do in LA? Um, I work at an acting studio. So I scout a lot of talent. I deal with a lot of kids. I love kids. Not so much their parents. <laughs> but like, the, kid, the kids are always sweet. I'm on the fence with the kids thing, but okay. Yeah. yeah. Did you do anything for Pride in New York? I was just there for it. Yeah, I had a celebration for me winning Mr. Fire. What? I was there. No. Yeah. How? 2022. Um, I entered so you're the contest. A winner. Yeah. I like that. The title holder. Oh, sorry. Title holder. Yeah. Honestly, there was a great chemistry. I knew I liked him. I didn't know that it would vibe like that. And when I found out he was a title holder, I was like, crown makes sense. Competitive makes sense. Winner makes sense. I make sense. I definitely know that I want to talk to you more, but I also am the sort of person, like when I go to get a drink, I have to look at every single drink. Right. You want your freedom to kick it. Yeah, you made an impression. <laughs> yeah. So listen, it's day one, one date, one guy. I'm not crazy. I mean, why don't I play the field a little bit? Why don't I just see what's out there? I mean, is that the worst thing I could do? Nah. We both can kick it. Yeah, exactly. And nobody's gonna catch your abs. Yeah. I, I mean, I, like, I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> if we never go on another day, it won't, it'll be perfectly fine with me. Well, some of our couples seem to be hitting it off. Let's see how the daddies and himbos will bond with each other on their hunt for love. This season, each team will be staying in communal rooms. Will there be any daddy on daddy hanky panky? Some himbo on himbo humping. I know that's not the point of the show, but it would still be fun to watch. Oh, oh. Just got back. Yeah, how were y'all's mm. dates? Mine was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that? Uh, because our dynamic is total opposite. I'm probably the biggest guy here, and he's the smallest guy here. Towards the end, he told me he wanted to play the field. So I just made it clear to him, don't get upset if you see me talking to other people. To the field. That's like, fair. That's like, fair. Like, like, let's be, you know, <laughs> let's make it mutual. Like, we made it like that. You see me kicking with other people, don't don't get an attitude or anything like that. So you're a free man tonight. Basically. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Typically, I date older. Oh. So this is like a bit of a reverse. reverse kind of like too. with you two. Yeah. It's kind of opposite, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a bit of a mind shift. I'd like to maybe broaden uh, my sense of who I can date and start looking at any age, because age is just a number, right? So just really trying to shift my mindset with that. Looking forward to new experiences. Yeah, me being a daddy also, like, it probably comes from me coming out late in life. I didn't come out till I was 27. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I dated women all through college and everything like that. Until I moved out into my own apartment and things like that, I was living in my home for like two years. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I can kind of do whatever I want. Nobody would really know. Uh -huh. So <laughs> yeah. that's when I started dating guys. I'm not even out to my parents or my immediate family. Oh, okay. oh, oh, oh. Wow. Clearly, Jeffrey thought about the most thoughtful, intimate way he could come out of the closet. Then he did the exact opposite by coming on a hypersexualized reality show. When the show wraps, I wanted, I was very, I knew I wanted to have this conversation in person. Uh, I knew it wasn't a Zoom call, it wasn't a phone call. And so when we wrap before it airs, I'm gonna end up sitting down and having this conversation. And in a way, this forces my hand. I can't put it off. I've been ready for a while now. And so now I, I, either I tell them or someone's gotta call them and be like, did you see your son on that show? So uh, <laughs> one way or another, they gotta find out. Love you, mom. I just feel like for so long, you know, I wanted to like find somebody, you know? I used to go into like all these, like, you know, these Italian weddings and like sitting with my nana and she goes, why don't you dance with somebody? And I'm like, I'm like, well, my day will come soon. So I don't know, maybe, maybe it will be here. I've always like envisioned like the wedding, the kids, the pick, you know, white picket fence. Like I've envisioned all of it. So, you know, I, I, maybe this is the start. Have you ever like sat here and thought like this is like you're on this show right now and like this could be the moment that you meet that guy that take you to your future. Like that's literally crazy to think. Like that's so crazy to think. I do like a like younger energy. Uh, I found out that dating guys that are closer to my age a lot of the time they don't want to go out. So like a younger dude is going to like maybe come out and visit me at work or does the same thing, works in nightlife or something like that. I think that's something like ideal that I'd be looking for here on one of these guys. Bobby knows it's best to meet younger men in the dimmest lighting possible. 
we also don't know what they're thinking yet either. Yeah. Uh, right. Right. They could all be right. like, the, you. No. <laughs> like, I want this guy. I want yeah. that guy. Right. Yeah, right. Know that's right. Him. So I'm not going to lie, guys. <laughs> What's up? Do you guys like know each other or like, because it's a little, a little clicky. A little clicky. Whoa. No, I'm yeah. Wait, wait, I you feel, feel like, that like you can't, all the way over here? like you can't sit with us. I know Phoenix because she's best friends with one of my exes. Who? I've been friends with him for a real long time. I met him at a Hollywood Hills party. Then we were like, he was, he's always moving, working, see him a lot. And then they got introduced and then they hit it off. And then a lot of other things happened. Is there any tension between you guys and like that situation or no? Really? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I mean, I had to ask, you know, <laughs> like... So when Tokyo and me and our situation was brought up in the bedroom, I really just kind of wanted to like move on. I didn't really think it would be a big deal, but yeah, didn't think that would happen. Before anything moves forward, Phoenix and Tokyo meet outside to try and clear the air by making the drama 100 times worse. Good on you, boys. I didn't know how to say this in front of the other guys. I just wanted to kind of clear the air. Mm -hmm. I know there's been some stuff between us involving your ex. Your best friend? My best friend. Okay. Honestly, we just have to clear the air. I can't have this looming over me this entire competition. And I know we were friends before that. Yeah. I know things got a little messy. Yeah. But I just didn't know where your head's at. So when it comes to Tokyo, there's a lot of things that come to mind. He dated my best friend. It ended not great. I might have said some things I shouldn't have. I mean, we haven't really had a real conversation since. Since, yeah. Just a lot I've, of highs and bias. We're here for a reason, so I feel like we shouldn't like just like, you know, I mean, still be annoyed. We're gay. Everybody dates each other. Yeah. You hear that all the time. Yeah. I just think for me, it's just odd when like you break up with somebody. Like I just I block and unfollow, as you know. Yeah. I unfollow and I am black you everybody. Me. Yeah. Listen, it was no shade. I mean, it might have been no shade, but like, honestly, like I was there when you, like you were on your knees asking for his hand back, all that, and like I vouched for you. Well, pause, let's clear this up because you make me feel like a punk ass bitch. So don't sit up here in front of the cameras and being all cute, like that was shady. That was shady as fuck. Like, and, and look, Bitch, if you gonna be shady, like just do I give that. I didn't mean it to be shady. It, it literally gave, and listen, I'm not here to fight or no drama. I literally came out here because like, you cool, but like, don't sit here like I was there when you was on your knees, cause that is not my vibe. I don't sit there and please, I feel like you making it seem, I'm sitting here like we broke up and I'm on my knees praying please. No, what I meant by all that was like, since then you've been respectful, since then and you've been great. It's just been an awkward between us. Yeah, but I'm just. There's been no hate. We're just talking about that moment. Like, don't do that. No shade. You could have just sat here and was like, I know y'all broke up and, you know, we're and just left it there. But you had to really just, uh huh, you a weak ass bitch. That's how it felt. That is exactly how it felt. No, 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 no. Come on. Keep it. Not my keep intention. that energy. Boy, it's not my intention. I, but I know you. You said it. Stand behind your words. You know what I mean? Like, if you're going to pull me to the side and have a conversation with me to try to, comp, like, chill things and then, like, I turn around and you slap the shit out of me, that's how I feel like I just got backhanded by a bitch. I don't think, possibly, you are in the space to make the right decisions and make the right choice words. Um, so I guess that... I didn't mean for this because he did. I think this is something we can table. Obviously, we've had a history before. I don't think this isn't, isn't something we can move past. I blundered it. I can't admit that. Yeah. On camera. The truth is, I don't know where Tokyo me stand. And that's concerning, but... I guess we'll just have to wait and see. That went well. Let's hope this little hiccup doesn't dampen the mood because tonight we're having a cocktail party. I know you're expecting a cock joke, but frankly, it's beneath me and I'd rather have it beside me. Stormy arranged a beautiful evening for the singles to mix and mingle. Sadly, she burnt the appetizers. She may play a housewife in porn, but we clearly didn't hire her for her domestic skills. Yeah. 
So, I hope everybody had a fantastic time with your dates today, yes? Yeah! yeah. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Tonight we're gonna do something a little bit different. It will be the only chance that we are gonna have a group mixer, a cocktail party, where everyone has a chance to mingle with everyone else. So, if you see somebody you like, I suggest you make tonight count, because tomorrow, one of you is going home and a new himbo is arriving. <laughs> That's right. If these singles are going to find true love, we need to bring in fresh meat. So every week a himbo or daddy will exit and a new stud will enter Dilf Mansion. So they only have so long to find a connection. Right? So what do you say? Drinks? Yeah! yeah. Better get spoochin', mates. That's actually one of my favorite ones. Oh, Pinot Grigio? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> of course. Cheers. Cheers. New beginnings, first meetings. Right. It's really nice <laughs> yeah, to I'm meet excited. you. I'm excited. Yeah. Hey, hello. hello. Hey, guys. <laughs> so, how's it going? Pretty good. Yeah. Enjoying some wine. I heard there's a little bit of a connection. Yeah, I, I think so. I think yeah. so too. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're, we're going the right way. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Tell me, what do you like about Mateo? He's, you know, he's super kind. He's, he's really, really nice. And you know, you can see that one like through his eyes, but also it's just like really caring, simple, compassionate, which is like not something I've had before. And it doesn't hurt that he's pretty. Oh, he's beautiful. <laughs> I mean, look at those lips. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you what do you like about Jeff? Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm nervous now. <laughs> I think he's just an amazing guy. Like our first day, we went just super, super smooth. We talk about what he does for work. And I mean, look at him. What I can am. I say? <laughs> I was not expecting to have this much fun on this day. I didn't even want to leave. I just wanted to stay longer, longer, longer and talk to him as much as I could. Like, he's just super nice. So, as you know, he's bilingual. Mm -hmm. He speaks beautiful English with that sexy accent, which I'm sure is working <laughs> for you. you. Absolutely. <laughs> so, do me a favor and say something dirty to Jeffrey and Spence. Oh, dirty? Creo que vamos a tener una muy buena noche. Oh, <laughs> I understood that. Did, Did you? you? <laughs> like, actually? Yeah. yeah. I what didn't, but it? I still like uh, it. <laughs> it means, it means that I think we're going to have a good, a good night. Like, it's not that dirty, but... Okay. Is it? I, I'll, I'm going to leave it to your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to leave you guys to your imaginations. <laughs> Play safe. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing that he didn't want this date to end just kind of put me over the moon because I didn't either. And I was I was kind of worried that he's gonna be like, I think I wanna meet other people because you know, we're all here to meet people, but fortunately he didn't. Cheers. Cheers. For new beginnings. New beginnings. Something tells me these two are gonna have a great night. As long as they don't get food poisoning from the pigs in a blanket. So I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I've been thinking about your jock strap nonstop. <laughs> Why? Also because I have a black pair as well. So uh, you can have my black pair, we'll switch. I like that. You want, you want to switch it up? <laughs> what, um, what, uh, what have you, do you wear them normally or no? Because I wear them all the time. Um, so fun fact, that said black pair, I actually took from a hookup. <laughs> because nothing says Prince Charming like petty larceny. So do you, do you go with older guys normally or what's I, your? I do. There's just something about this guy and there's something about him and uh, I really, really like him. I don't want to like jump too fast because there's so many other guys here, but there's something about Alex that I really, really like. He's special. I mean, I got to tell you, like when I walked out uh. and I saw you with my job, I was like, <laughs> I was like, you're like plan succeeded. Yeah, yeah, it worked. I was like, good. So. You're like, thank you, universe. Thank you. Yeah. I feel that. So I we'll see. That. I yeah, know. I was very happy when I saw yeah. you. Guys, we all had dates today. Uh, what are you What are you all thinking? Are you thinking that you want to like stick with the date that you were on? I know him and I are on our date together. I know you guys had different dates. Are you thinking about sticking with the person that you're with? Are you feeling it, or, or like what are like your thoughts? Can I say something real quick? Yeah, fuck yeah! I had a great time with you. Like honestly, like I enjoyed myself. 
Like from the second I saw you, I was like physically attracted to you. And I got, you opened your mouth and I was like, holy shit, like I like him even more. Like the, the fact that Nathan also seemed to like me and vibe with me, that really means a lot for him to reciprocate that back and feel that back. It was really exciting. So my day was dope. He's so hot, obviously. Like I like his vibe. I like his style. Also, he's really sweet, but I feel like since um, comes the butt. there's always a butt, right? especially in this house. Um, but like, so what's the problem? He the sounds problem great. Is there, listen, right? <laughs> is it you second guessing yourself? It could be, but is... I also feel like there's this thing that's just is it not, not there. Yeah. You don't think it's like fully authentic? Maybe Tokyo's third eye can sense that his daddy is cozying it up with Phoenix in the next room. We might get that himbo slap fight after all. Hey, so I noticed you earlier, didn't get a chance to talk to you. I honestly love your shirt. I have a Speedo that would match it. I'm not gonna lie. Do you? Yeah. Yes, leopard yes. print, of course. What about the print? <laughs> <laughs> well, cheers. Cheers. It's a game and you know, people move around and people that aren't happy with their pairing are probably looking at other guys. What kind of guys are you into right now? I think my options really open. I'm a lot more about connection than I am about just like a physique overall. Yeah. I think like that sort of connection follows through not only like a relationship or a friendship, but in the bedroom. Right. I mean like good sex is about like a back and forth. For sure. And when you have that with for someone, sure. it's just hot. Absolutely. No, yeah. I love that. Uh, for me, you know, I'm, I think in terms of men right now, I'm just looking for someone who's creative, um, you know, independent, confident, um, and I like big thinkers. I'm kind of a dreamer myself. Ooh, how big? And as big as you can think, I don't know. Okay, I can think um, real big. Okay, that's good, that's good. <laughs> um, but you know, just someone that you can create a life with that's amazing, so that's what I'm looking for. It's beautiful. Yeah, thanks. I wish it can be as simple as, like, you guys know, you know what I mean? You know off top. So I feel like you're saying a lot right now, but I feel like you should uh, say it to him, to say, say it to his face. All right, I want to do a cheers to Team Himbo and Team Daddy. May we all get our dicks wet tonight. Yeah, what a day it's been. I'm going to give Stormy a ring for a full update. It's important I check on the single's progress. Plus, we spent money on this fog machine, so we have to use it now. Hi, doctor. I have to say, day one has been a total success. Safe to say your little experiment is working. <laughs> what are you wearing? Please tell me it's that hot pink thong I gave you for Christmas. Mm. Dr. Dilf, this is why we're friends. And we are all set for the new Hembo's arrival tomorrow. I think it's gonna really shake things up. I'm gonna go back in and stir the pot. I'll keep you posted. Send nudes. This season on For the Love of Dilfs. Been vibing like really well. This is one of the most attractive humans I've probably ever seen in my life. Hit him with your blue ball! Yeah. Anything could just happen in a split second. I have some bad news. And there's a possibility that one of us could be like the third wheel. So what, we can't like fucking talk to each other now? I have literally no idea what's going on. Hit me harder, oh, daddy. Fuck yeah. Should we do a kiss too? Ready? Mm -hmm. I will never try to hurt you in any way. If things are going good or bad, I'll just let you know. I know my Prince Charming's out there and I've been single for six years. I'm ready to be in a relationship. I am grateful just for this, regardless of like, if I find someone or not, because you're all so, you're, you're beautiful people. It's gonna be real interesting and it's gonna get really messy. Let me talk. Don't tarnish my reputation, dude. You are baby daddy of the season. I'm sorry. Now we're about to shake things up again. Oh. What I do, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, 
Daddy.